Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the new comic book day preview video for March 13th, 2024. Um, we got a lot of slides to get to today. Um, just a bunch of stuff to dive into. A lot of great covers, some really great reads, um, some really cool books coming out. So um, it's gearing up to be a pretty good month for releases. So um, yeah, we're going to jump into it. I uh, hope everyone's having a good day. Uh, let's get it started. Share the screen here. Share it the right way, unlike last week's video. So, <laughs> all right. First up for uh, cover fire, best covers of the week. This is the uh, Fall of House of X, uh, number three, one in 50, Miguel Mercado, Colossus Virgin variant. Beautiful Colossus uh, cover. Um, there is a trade dress available with this. It's a uh, Kind of like the small circle X up in the top left corner, but I really do like the Virgin variant more. So the one in fifty. Um, didn't have a chance to check prices and see what this is going for though, but I can see this being pretty popular. Um, but I'm definitely something I'm going to look into. So that's our first pick for Cover Fire Best Cover of the Week, and our second pick was the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one forty nine. This is the Clayton Crane Web Store Virgin variant. Um, there's also, I believe, a foil and a trade dress, if I'm not mistaken, and, and a couple different versions. Um, if you're lucky enough to get this on his website, because um, from what I can see, everything is sold out on it. Um, and it's no wonder why. It's a beautiful cover. Really cool. I The splinter is really what I love about this. The splinter just looks awesome. Um, so really cool cover. Um, yeah, so that's our second pick for cover. Then we have a bunch of honorable mentions. Well, not a bunch, actually, just a few. But Thundercats number two. This is the cover B by Lucio Perillo. Um, there's also, again, with this one, a Virgin and a Foil. But these are uh, orderable covers. So something I'll be looking out for. I haven't had a chance to read the Thundercats yet. Um, look, I've heard some mixed uh, reactions, but I haven't given it a chance yet. But this cover is awesome. So it's definitely going to make the list. And then uh, next up we have... The Amazing Spider-Man 45. This is the Unknown Comics, Comic Trader, Sleeping Giant, Kendrick Lim, Virgin variant. There's also a trade dress uh, with this set as well. Um, beautiful black cat cover. Not sure what's going on with the white cats. Um, if they're like white tigers or I, I'm not sure what the cats are. <laughs> that they're like some sort of like mythical beast or whatever. I couldn't really figure it out. But the black cat alone is worth uh, putting this cover on the list. So... And I think there is one more. The Star Wars Darth Vader 44. This is the 1 in 25 Alex Malie variant. Really awesome painted Darth Vader cover with the Death Star and the TIE Fighters in the back. Um, if you guys have watched some of my videos, you know I'm a sucker for a good Darth Vader cover. And this one is definitely one of those. So I love this. If I can find it reasonable, this is something I'm definitely going to be picking up. <clears throat> so that does it for covers for the week, guys. So we'll just run down those covers one more time. The top pick, in my opinion, was the Fall of House of the uh, House of X number three, one in fifty Miguel Mercado Colossus variant, uh, the Virgin. Um, the trade dress is just a regular cover, so that wouldn't shouldn't be too hard to pick up. And then uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one forty nine Clayton Crane Web Store Virgin variant. And then also for honorable mentions, Thundercats two, uh, Lucio Prillo variant. Then we had the Kendrick Lim Virgin variant for Amazing Spider-Man 45. And then we also have the 1 in 25 Alex Malie uh, variant for Darth Vader 44. So there you have it for covers this week, guys. Some really, really cool stuff. Um, next up, we have Eagerly Awaited, our, which is our most anticipated reads of the week. So first up in the first choice, we have Avengers Twilight number 4 by Chip Zdarsky and Daniel Acuna. This series has been amazing so far. I really loved the last issue. It had tons of action, left you on a cliffhanger, um, kind of some surprises in there. I just have really been enjoying it, and uh, like throughout the whole series has been awesome. Really looking forward to this next issue. Um, and really nice covers, too. So this is the Alex Ross cover, which had been the cover ace for all the issues. Then you also have a featured cover that we picked out, which was the cover B by Daniel Acuna, who's doing the interiors. This is such a great Thor cover. I absolutely love this co cover. I thought his, I thought the Daniel Acuna covers have been great 
all series. The A and B covers, in my opinion, have just been awesome. But this one specifically is amazing. I love how the lightning goes through the trade dress, like straight through uh, the hammer. Like the whole thing is just awesome. The colors. I, I love this whole. I love this whole thing. <laughs> so. Uh, it's one of those books where you're getting an awesome combination of the cover art and read uh, writing. It's just all amazing. Cannot recommend this book enough. Um, so that's definitely our top pick for the week. And next up, we have kind of probably an unexpected pick. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, The Return, number two, by Amy Jo Johnson, the original Pink Ranger, Matt Hodson, and uh, Nico Leon. So I did not pick this up originally, the first issue. Um, I do pick up Power Rangers books, but I, this one just kind of, I didn't, wasn't on my radar. Um, it was recommended to me and I, so I ended up picking it up, reading it and I absolutely loved it. It's a separate timeline story of the original Rangers and it's so good. It's like very heartfelt and emotional. Um, the ending kind of left you on this cliffhanger. You really want to see what's going to happen with it. It was really cool. I just really loved it. It was a very refreshing Power Rangers story. I'm a nineties kid. I grew up. Power Rangers were huge for me. Uh, it's one of the only sets of toys that I collect actively is Power Rangers, um, just because I have such a love for the for the original series. So this might be a little bit of a bias pick, but I I absolutely loved it and I do recommend reading it. It was really cool, especially if you're a fan of the show. A um, couple featured covers for this one. First up, we have the uh, cover B by Ijukuri. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but I just love this cover. I love the reflection of time in the green ranger and reader repulsa and the uh and the eyes and just the the shine on the arrow i just think this was really cool um cover and then there is also the one in 25 by in yuck lee which is a really awesome uh red ranger cover and this is very kind of true to the story um if you're reading this like the red ranger is basically and with I'm trying not to spoil anything but he's like the one that carries on like he keeps going with it being a ranger when other when all the other ones kind of give up and um stop so it, it so i really love this uh it's just a badass he's all like the whole suits all torn up because he's been going at it for so long it's just really cool so um that's our second pick for eagerly awaited most anticipated reads of the week. Give it a shot if you guys are not already reading. And then we have a bunch of honorable mentions, guys. So first up, we have Wolverine 45 by Victor Lavalle, um, Benjamin Percy, and Corey Smith. This book got back on track last issue because part four, or I'm sorry, I think it was part three. Part three kind of dropped the ball a little bit. And then last issue, they really redeemed themselves. I loved the last issue. It, it was emotional. It was um, intense. And it just, I just, I loved it. Uh, there was this really great scene with Wolverine um, when he's like kind of on his own. I don't want to spoil anything, but it was just really great. Really got you in the feels. Um, and I'm really excited for what's going on. I think this is a 10-part series, so there's a decent amount of the story left. I think this is part five, so a uh, decent amount of the story left, but really cool. I was very, very happy that this book kind of came back in last issue. It really redeemed itself, so that's why I threw it on the list. Um, so, And then next up, we have Transformers number six by Daniel Warren Johnson. Um, just loving this series. Uh, I, I, I'm a big fan of the Energon universes you guys might have seen in some of my other videos um but this completes the first story arc so it should be interesting i forget what the title is it's like one shall fall or something along those lines but obviously you're going to get a big um hope payoff in this issue is what i'm hoping for um but i've loved it so far again another emotional story i think when the, you really tie things down emotionally that's when people get invested into these books and uh this is definitely one of those cases so love it there is uh, a cover we wanted to feature on here. There's a couple of decent covers for this book this week, but we wanted to feature the one in 25 Eric uh, uh, Kennedy. I think that's it. But just a really cool Devastator cover. There's other covers, like I said, that were good on this, but I'm such a fan of Devastator that I had to throw this on the list. As you guys know, these are my opinions. So <laughs> this is just my opinion, but I love this Devastator cover. Uh, I think it's just really cool. I, love the, I always loved the color scheme of Devastator. I thought it was such an awesome character um characters so wanted to throw that on there and then we also have next up the one hand number two by ram v and uh lawrence campbell 
Now, I have not gotten a chance to read the Six Fingers yet, but I hopefully this week. I, I did order a copy, so hopefully it's in this week. Um, but I loved the one hand for the first issue. I thought it was so cool. Um, I spoke about it when I recommended picking up the six fingers as one of these ish, uh, as one of the uh, picks in a previous video. So I'm really excited about this. Um, I've loved this series so far. I hope it keeps up the momentum and uh, I'm just, I'm very much looking forward to reading this. So that one's on the list there and honorable mentions. And then the next two are kind of interesting and I'll explain why. So we have ultimate Panther number two by Brian Hill and Stefano Caselli. So, of all the ultimate stuff so far, I've enjoyed it all, but Black Panther is probably number three on that list. I really did enjoy the um, Ultimate X-Men from Peach and Moco last week. And obviously, Ultimate Spider-Man has been awesome. So I don't think it's so much that it's not good. It's just I've enjoyed the other ones a little bit more. But I, that being said, I did enjoy the first issue of this series, and I'm looking forward to it. I felt like a little bit more of a straightforward what you expect of an action kind of uh black panther series but that being said i did enjoy it so um i'm looking forward to the second issue plus ultimate universe in general is just on fire so it's going to be on the eagerly awaited list and then the next one is star wars mace windu 2 by mark bernardin and uh, george's genti or genti um this is an interesting pick i was hoping for uh i i don't i don't want to say something different from the first issue i enjoyed the first issue i'm very intrigued by mace windu and this uh other character that they've introduced their relationship it's the person that he's basically going to um pick up he's on like a, almost like a rescue mission and the character that he's going to basically save or pick up from this planet i'm curious about what their relationship is i i'm a huge fan of mace windu so i do have high hopes for this series um, I wasn't blown away by the first issue. I'll just put it that way. But I do want to give it another chance. I'm going to continue reading it. So I wanted to throw it on the list. And I'm like I said, I'm hoping for uh, for big things. So those are the eagerly awaited and honorable mentions. Guys, next up we have the Funky Fresh, most anticipated new title of the week. And that pick goes to Little Black Book uh, number one by Jeff McC uh, Comsey and uh, Chris Ferguson from AWA. This is uh I, I hard to describe so hard-boiled neo-western thriller is how it was described in the write-up um i'm really looking forward to this i think it just sounds really cool we'll see how it goes obviously but it's supposedly about this guy who his i guess his father wasn't a great person really <laughs> and uh the son finds himself kind of tied up in this with some bad people what is what it sounds like and what he does is he finds this black book that was his father's and i'm guessing that kind of helps him when it comes to like this trouble that he's having i don't know it just sounded really interesting to me um the neo western kind of thing was what really sounded really caught my attention so hopefully it's gritty and dark. i just think it has a lot of potential so that was my pick there's a couple other ones we threw for honorable mention uh this week and so we have uh, Black Widow and Hawkeye number one by Stephanie Phillips and uh, uh, Paolo uh, Villana Villanelli uh, from Marvel. Um, just a cool, you know, you're getting a Black Widow and Hawkeye team up. I love that pairing. You're still getting, I think, the symbiote like Black Widow suit, which I guess is kind of interesting. I don't know too much about it. I haven't been really reading that much of it. But anytime you get these two together, I thought it was worth throwing on the list as a, as a new title. So I'll give it a shot. We'll see, we'll see what happens with it. Um, moderate expectations is kind of what I have with this, but who knows? So I wanted to throw that on there. And then finally for uh, Funky Fresh, we have Helen of Windhorn, number one, by Tom King, um, Bill Billiquius, Evely. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I'm probably not. Um, from Dark Horse. But this is the team that brought you Superwoman uh, uh, World of Tomorrow. And... I'm just really excited. People are very excited that this team is kind of like back together on a new title. So it, that alone was worth throwing it on the list. Um, I'm very excited about this. Uh, it sounds pretty interesting. It's, uh, you know, I think it's a daughter that inherits an estate from her father who was an author. And I, it sounds like it kind of just kind of gets pretty wild from there. I'm not really sure what it's all about, but like I said, the team is what really drew this to me. 
um, or drew it for me. Um, so I'm excited about this. We'll see how it is. Uh, there was a couple really nice covers for it too. So this is the A cover with, alone, which is very nice. And then there's the uh, cover E by uh, Massimo Carnavale. I hope I'm saying that right. Who knows? Um, but just just really awesome painted cover. This is probably my favorite cover of the three I'm going to show from this title. But I thought it was awesome with the house and kind of like the, the roots and the, the hair kind of going off in the smoke and this painted kind of like almost abstract cover. Just really love this one. And then there is the uh, cover. I'm sorry, the one in 10 by Clay Man. Well, which I also thought was beautiful. I love the color on this, like this light blue and um, yellows and pinks. I just really thought this was awesome. So there you have it. I'm really excited about this. This one kind of just popped up on my radar recently. So very excited about it. And then last um, feature, we have the Spotlight Key of the Week, which is going to be Ghost Rider Final Vengeance Number 1 by Benjamin Percy and Danny Kim. Uh, key significance here, the hood becomes the new spirit of vengeance. So I'm not sure if this is going to happen in this issue, but it's going to happen in this story. So I, it's worth paying attention to. This cover is so-so. There's a couple other nice colors. I think Capullo had a really nice cover on this too. Um, but I'm definitely picking it up. Uh, like I said, a little bit of speculation, I guess, on it being a key because of the hood stuff. But... Um, I'm curious to see what happens. It, I think it's interesting you're getting a new Spirit of Vengeance and a new Ghost Rider and stuff like that. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, something I'm something I'm interested in. So there you have it, guys. Those are the picks of the week. So I hope you guys uh, enjoy the video. Um, as always, guys, these are my opinions. They're not. Um, I'm not saying run out and buy any of these books, anything like that. Collect what you love. I always say that. Um, this is just my opinion stuff. I'm looking at stuff. I think is cool. If there's other stuff you think I should be checking out or that you're checking out, you know, please comment in the, uh, below the video, like subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, this is the last video before St. Patrick's day. So I hope everyone has a nice St. Patrick's day. I hope everyone gets to celebrate, um, you know, be responsible, but have fun. Um, I know I will be, I'm recording this video on a Friday, so I'm definitely going to crack a beer after this one. Um, what else do we have coming up uh, next week? I'll be in Virginia for Galaxy Con, and I'm going to see visit my family for St. Patrick's Day. And then the following month in April is King Kong 5 in Ridge Park, New Jersey, which I'm also super pumped for. Um, hopefully, if, if you guys are going to be there, comment, let me know. Um, it should be a great time. So as always, guys, I hope you're getting out there to your LCSs. Um, hope you guys find what you're looking for, and happy hunting as always, guys. I will see you next week. Thank you.